Yo, what up guys? Welcome to the revamped How to Beat series. And I've revamped it because I think the previous episodes, they did take a lot of time. And I think there was a lot of useful information in that, but I think I can do it much more pragmatic, way shorter and give the same good quality information to you guys by giving you three top tips to counter an enemy champion. So these are my top three tips to beat way in lane but also in game we're gonna start with tip number one get on to him and he dies so what do i mean with this way is a champion that is comparable to a bit of an artillery mage but he's also comparable to uh, a bit of a control mage or a utility mage so what do these champions have in common? These champions have in common that they're very, very squishy and have very low amount of self self heal, but they do stay on range. Wei is very similar. Wei is a champion that can deal a lot of damage, can be very annoying on distance, but once you get onto him with any kind of champion, he doesn't win. He dies. He's got some self heal in his E but that's the main thing that basically allows him to stay alive against a lot of these dashing in champions champions that want to get onto him but if you are playing against way what you have to understand is the way you actually beat way is if you get onto him with whatever champion on range he'll be very very annoying so what's really important to do um use your mobility spells to get onto him when it comes to team fights, get on creative flank angle uh, angles. Make sure that you also gank him in lane. Um, if you play a 1v1 lane, isolated lane against the way, it's very easy for him to clear waves and just get wave shop control where you need to be answering to the wave all the time and he can just walk away with the lane. You have to be calling for ganks. You have to be pinging his flash timer, telling your jungler he's squishy, because you need your jungler to beat this guy consistently. And once he's behind, it's very, very hard for him to play because then it's really easy to get onto him. So that's my number one tip to counter Wei. Number two tip to counter Wei. Play around his long W and E cooldowns in lane. His W and E have extremely long cooldowns. Um, his E is the most important one, which is 15 seconds. That's his main self peel. And a lot of uh, our champions that we're going to be playing in the lane have mobility, have possibilities to get onto way. And if we know that his E is 15 seconds cooldown, we get a very big window in the lane where we can actually abuse him and try to get onto him. Because as we recognize, that's his weakest part. Um, his W is also a very long cooldown and he's going to be using this in the lane a lot because he wants to regenerate mana. A W is a big part of his damage. If he has used W in the lane, it's very hard for him to proc his passive consistently. And his passive will also not deal that much damage because usually the way Wei wants to be trading in lane is he wants to be thrown uh, a Q and an E and then while landing, he wants to combine it with a W. So the, both his Q, both his E and his passive get the W procs. That's like 150 extra damage. Isn't it an insane amount if you think about it, especially in the early game. So play around this long W and E cooldowns in lane. Check these cooldowns before uh, the game starts. Look it up. Think about it during the lane and abuse it when he uses it, especially when he misses it. Because there's going to be a lot of ways that want to be doing this aggressively. Also in bad matchups. My number three tip to counter way is his ult is a very big part of his kit when it comes to damage. Without his ult, it's going to be very hard for him to deal significant amount of damage to enemies. It also provides a lot of setup. Uh, if Wei can land his abilities, he deals a lot of damage. And his R, if he lands it, he gets a very big slow. And that slow is then going to allow him to hit other abilities onto that target. So um, not only does it deal a lot of damage, it also sets up for a lot of his other damage. So what's really important, if we know that Wei has R up, we want to be careful with committing or going onto him because if it's a fear plus r it's a lot of damage so we mainly want to be baiting his r out understanding that if he has no setup cc it's extremely hard for him to land this r very thin projectile very slow projectile so um, as long as you're aware that if he has r up he's a very big threat if he has r down or we baited it out it's going to be much less of a threat and we have much more opportunities to actually go get onto him and try to kill him. In the end, that's what it leads back to because that's the most consistent way to beat 
way as a champion. If we get onto him, that's when he struggles the most. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll definitely get back to you next week. Same time, same day. We got another episode of the How to Beat uh, series with my top three tips. Thank you guys for watching.